Hey guys, it's me, Lego Custom Builds. Today I'll be showing guys how to put on Lego decals on minifigures. So, for first of all, I want to show you everything that you need. You need a um, cutting board. You'll need a fine grit, like uh, sandpaper, but I don't have that, so I have to use this, like, kind of, not really fine. It's kind of, I don't know, it's like a lot, I don't know. And then this is, um, like, this kind of sanding block, but it's really... Like all, um, most of the sand is also, it's kind of like for making the body smoother. You need an exacto knife and a little bit of water and a little cap or anything. And yeah, and then of course you need some like undesirable bodies that you never use. So in this case, I'll be showing us how to make an American and a British guy. I just need to find one more arm for him. Yeah. And then you also need some decals right here. I got some of the Rogue Ones custom World War II decals right here. Um, but if you have any other decals, this is just for any kind of decals you can put on. So let's start by just making an American soldier. So first of all, you need to take the head off. And you need to get some sandpaper and just sand it off. Dip it in the water. Anyway, once you're done, um, I did actually both sides, so it's all nice like that. But then, see when you feel it's kind of like, it's kind of rough. So that's why I'm getting this sand block, and I'm, I'm kind of smoothing it all out. And it really, really helps. So you don't have to do it for a long time, just kind of, just really quickly. Just, and it just takes off the roughness and it's like really really smooth honestly it's actually just as smooth as a normal minifigure from lego like a brand new one just as smooth so this really 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 helps like that it's really really smooth um and then all you have to do is just kind of get a little bit of the water just kind of wash off all the sandy stuff and then just kind of wipe it Oh wait, left some of that sand stuff on there. Anyway, so the next step is to cut a decal. So you open up a decal. It's the first time using these. I actually used all my German decals. So I'm making an um, American decal right now. So American Airborne. And let's go. You just get an exacto knife and just carefully cut it like that try to do as perfect like as perfect as possible obviously but um this isn't that easy but at the same time it isn't hard either and then just go over it again just to kind of cut it more. There you go. Next step is just to pull it out. Let's cut it a little bit more. There you go. Next step is to get the water and just put it in the water for 30 seconds. Anyway, so... Um, once you're done, um, you just take it out. I already took it out. And you place it in the minifigure. So you get some water, put it on top of the minifig, and you just slide it off carefully. And, and then you just get your finger. And you roll it on like that. 
You roll your finger carefully like that. Don't slide your finger, just roll it. To get all the water from underneath the decal. There you go. The next step is actually just to cut out the back side right here, and which I'll do really quickly. Um, all right, so um, I already got the body. I mean, I cut it out, and you also want to put some pants on because for this decal, um, I don't know. I'm just I just need to because it's a little bit longer, so it goes onto the little belt of the pants. So of course you do it again. Put it in the water for 30 seconds. All right, so you take it out of the water. Get it with your fingers and do the same stuff. Put the water in there and just slide it on. You see it kind of goes on the pants. Sometimes that's what happens to some decals. They're a little bit longer. And you do the same thing. Roll your finger. Straighten everything out. This might take a while. So, all right, there it is. Next step, if you want to, you know, decal ahead, you pretty much do exactly the same thing. It's just where did I put that head? Um, so you just get a crappy head and you just sand it off and do exactly the same thing. Alright, so the head is nice and sanded. And then I also cut out the head right here and then, I mean the face decal. Then I got some other little decals for the side arms. And you do exactly the same thing. Anyway, so this is how the final product should look like. Um, so this guy is absolutely complete. Right here, you got the side decals, you got the face decal, and of course the body decal. Actually, I have four more decal guys. I have two more British soldiers, and I have two more German soldiers, but I don't currently have them. And I have a lot of brick arms, but I don't currently have them either. So I just put a beret on him, but still looks really nice. And yeah, so please rate, comment, subscribe, and thanks for watching.